So today we're going to go over how I designed this heart as you're seeing on this edgelet acrylic here. Uh, we're going to use Blender to create a DXF file. Then we'll import that DXF into Illustrator and we'll save that as an SVG so you can go and cut it out or engrave. So first we'll get into Blender here. Blender is a free open source 3D modeling program. So it uh, doesn't matter which version you're on. I'm running 2.79. Uh, everything I'm using in this version is part of the standard uh, operating. So you won't have to add anything in. So first we're going to create a cube. Right, there's our cube. You can hit Shift A. That'll bring up your ad. You can add mesh, curves, surface, meatballs, text, whatever. But today we're making a heart. And we want to make sure that is at zero, zero, zero. There we go. Okay. Now, if I hit tab, that's just our solid block. Hit tab again. Now we can pick the surfaces. We can pick faces. We can pick lines. And we can pick points, vertices. All right. So first we're going to go control R, split it. Down the middle there, control R, control R. Okay. Now we're going to control R again, control R, control R, control R. Then I'm going to hit one, oop, five. Didn't need to hit five twice. Control R, control R to add those. Z to go to the transparent mode. C for select. And we'll grab that whole row right there. Okay, we'll bring that down. Let's say about right there. A to get rid of all those. We'll get C and select these points again. And let's say about right there. Okay, grab these. Now scale S. And then along which axis, which is X, and scale those out. Seems about good there. Okay, scale again along the X axis. And we'll just keep going up the line here. Really got to say, I have loved Blender. I started using it when I first got into 3D printing. And out of all the software I use for 3D, it was my favorite. Just, I guess I picked it up the fastest. I also used it for 3D animation and I loved that. All right, so we kind of got our generic shape of the heart here. We're just kind of playing with it a little bit. And I'm going to control R again at some right there. Let's grab these. Go back to it. So you can change the different views. Here's first view, second view, third view. Fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, just all from your numpad. And then if you hit five, five takes you into straight on view or, you know, whatever side view. But we'll use five. And let's keep cleaning this up. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We'll round this all out with uh, modifiers and everything, but I think we have a decent, but we can still do a little bit more, bit more work here. Add a little here, scale again along the X. So just S, X, we'll lift that just a little there. Looks pretty good. All right, now, Tab or go here. 
Let's go to our side view. I am going to get rid of all the faces, backside of the faces here. So we'll just go C, scale up and get rid of all those. Don't have any there. Hit X, faces, delete. And now we're left with this. All right. So now we'll come over here, click on the wrench, add a modifier, and we're going to add multi resolution. Okay. Get out of tab. Now we'll subdivide, subdivide. And now we're going to want to play around with our vertices again, kind of give a little bit more shape to what we're doing here. All right. Didn't necessarily need that, but and again, just work till you you're good with the shape you have. Go. Now we're going to add another modifier and we're going to add the triangulate. And there's our heart design. Rather like that. All right, so first we need to make sure that we hit apply on the multi-resolution first. Then we want to hit apply on triangulate. And we have our heart. We'll set origin to geometry. Go location, location zero, zero, zero there. And now on the x-axis, we're going to want to go 90, put in negative 90. Either one will work. All right. And we have our heart. Now, this is the only one part where you may need to go to um, your settings, your, or your user preferences, and add on a DNX export. But we'll go down to export, AutoCAD DXF if you don't have that. You can uh, enable it from the user preferences. So we'll go AutoCAD DXF. We're going to call this Heart Blender. There we go. Export. All right. Now we're going to go into Illustrator. We're going to go Open. Okay. And let's go find Heart Blender. There we go. Okay, scale to fit art board. Okay. So now we have this. We're going to ungroup it. And mine are all lines. Now, let's go back here. I want to point something out real quick when you're exporting. If you go to export, AutoCAD, DXF, right here, export mesh. Change this to lines and it'll just export all those individual lines. If you make it uh, 3D faces, you'll get overlap and it'll, uh, you'll have to go in and do a lot of cleanup. So change it to lines and you'll have way less to worry about when it comes to cleanup. All right. So if we left this the way it was, each one of these lines would be individual. And so the CNC would read this as, okay, go down here, go here, go up. And you would count that as one line. So you have lots and lots and lots of one liners. So if we just come in and do this, And just select all these. Now, if we hit Control J, it's one line. So it'll be faster. It won't have all those single up moves uh, on each one of those lines where this would have to go down, over, up, down, over, up. 
Whereas this one, down, over. So just uh, something to think about uh, to clean up these lines really quick. Less individual cuts on your CNC. Yes, that's a lot of work, but that is how I designed the part I did for my wife. And you can also come in, you can add your own style and take on things. If you want to come in and just start adding your own lines, you can do that. So lots you can do here, lots of options, um, lots of different shapes and just kind of getting that nice clean line look. And now just save as an SVG or export, export as SVG, use artboards. And these should be your settings and then hit OK. Now you have an SVG that you can export into your CAM software. Thank you all for watching. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep making stuff. <laughs>